Hello, we are PV Theatricals and we are here to give a completely objective, final, definitive master tier list of Gilbert and Sullivan operettas. Uh, we are choosing from all 14 operettas. Michael, are you sure there's 14? That sounds like quite a lot. It does sound quite a lot. Um, one, but two, there three, are. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are fourteen. Wow. We have here um, several experts on Gilbert and Sullivan. We have uh, the bo uh, on the bottom of my screen here James Sweetman, who has been performing Gilbert and Sullivan since he was a mere years boy old. of eleven years old. A mere yeah. boy of eleven years old. That's right. We have above me Sophie Cook, who started at uni. Started at uni. Never heard of them before that. And we also have the Gilbert and Sullivan fanatic, the true anorak, Jamie Benson, um, who has been doing Gilbert and Sullivan since he was 14, 15? 13. 13. Oh, oh. Major General. Oh. His first role was the Major General at the age of 13. And since then, he hasn't been able to put it down. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, myself, uh, my first role in Gilbert and Sullivan was as the Mikado at the age of 16. And uh, and together we sort of make the PB Theatricals production team. Um, we love Gilbert and Sullivan and we have opinions on Gilbert and Sullivan. And so we're going to make <laughs> this truly definitive master tier list. If anyone disagrees with it, they are objectively wrong. Well, I think there's going to be a lot of disagreement amongst ourselves here, Michael, if we're not careful. Do you think we're pretty in sync with... Uh... We already know in our heads what is in S tier and what is in D tier. Mm. Michael, would you like to explain the tiers? For those of you unfamiliar with the tier system, uh, at the top is S tier. S tier is the best, the creme de la creme. Sorcerer tier. Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> Possibly Sullivan not the tier. sorcerer tier. <laughs> Under that is A. A is pretty good. A is, you know, you can never turn down an A tier item. No. Below A, B. B is middling, you know, you can take it or leave it, but. It's probably good. It's Gilbert and Sullivan. It's not going to be, you're not going to not enjoy watching it. Mm. Um, C and D are where it gets pretty bad. Um, C might be something that you just, you don't care for. You know other people care for it, but it's just not your cup of tea. D is just avoid dreadful. D for dreadful. Mm. So is that D tier in terms of somebody who actually likes Gilbert and Sullivan as well, Michael? Or is this like sort of an overview of... Uh... Of things that you might enjoy anyway because you know if i could put like you know cornettos in d if you see what i mean mm, yeah um no i think i think this is this is for people who still enjoy gilbert and sullivan regardless wow right um how do you want to do this do you want to do it for in chronological order or i think spice it up but yeah let's do it from left to right okay to right. okay well left to right first of all we have patience Ooh. Patience. Patience. Now, I, I would put. Pa I was listening to Patience today, and I would put Patience in S tier. Um, I do see mm. that, but I would probably more put it in A tier just because um, it's got. I think it's got the best dialogue. Like it's. I think it's Gilbert's best, but um, I don't think it's Sullivan at his best. I don't think there's quite so many bangers. Like you need a banger for an S tier. <sighs> the thing is, yeah. I've never seen a Patience done badly. Even even with the minimal budget, it's always entertaining. It's always funny. And do you think that? Do you think that's because of Gilbert's writing or because of Sullivan? It's it's all Gilbert. I'm not gonna lie. It's all Gilbert. It's, it's the funniest one. It, it cracks it's me the up. One. It's yeah, as I, funny I, as a Gilbert and Sullivan can be. I was listening. Least. You know, I was listening to the Doily Cart recording, and that made me laugh. Mm. And like, you know, Doily Cart recordings are. Mm, I think right. pa I think patience is definitely <laughs> underrated. Like, people don't do it very often, but um, I wouldn't quite put it in S tier. Yeah. Mm, well, I'd, I'd, I'd go for A. I'd go for A. I don't think it's quite there. I think it's an A tier. Okay. I agree. I don't think it's, don't think it's got, it hasn't got those bangers. I just, I, I, I it's the, the, bit, the bit that made me actually laugh out loud while I was at work today was when Bunthorn says, um, like, when, when he's asked to read his poem and he says, shall I, shall I, and then all the, all of the, like, the men say no, <laughs> and like, yeah, it just cracks me up every time. <laughs> I don't know why. I it, is, it, really it, it is dynamite stuff, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, patience is in A tier. Pa that means patience is a 
great, you would never probably turn it down mm. um, operetta from Gilbert and Sutherland. Yeah, very, Next very good. up um, is HMS Pinafore. Oh. I'm going to be controversial right from the off. C. C. Pinafore is C. C. No, I mean, but you see, I, I can understand why you'd say that because it is terrible for, it's terrible for, fe- women. for females. Like, it's, it's, it's terrible for, for any. Yeah, like. The, the but, best part in that show is Big Dead Eye, and other than that, I'm not yeah. interested. They're all the all the men, all the men's parts, all the men's and, parts, and the men's cor- the men's chorus numbers. And you've got that four part male harmony. Mm. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? We just, I, I'm, I'm just a bit tired of it. We've just covered it so many times, but it, you do it so many times for a reason. It's, it is mm. good. It's, it's, it really it's, gets you. It's, it's full of, it's full of bangers. Yeah. I think it's like, kind of. I feel for me, it's like the most dramatic yeah. GNS as well. Like the mm-hmm. the little love story. It's actually the one that, as a young boy, I felt the most uh, most like invested in when I was in the chorus. You know, like. What bangers are you referring to, Michael? Oh, like pick any song. We sail from... the ocean blue. Yeah, you know, really good. Pick any song. Like we sail the ocean blue and um, catch on the pinafore. Joseph Porter's song, the entire Act One finale. No, they're, they're, they're a much better British, song. British I'm not saying they're terrible. <laughs> But in terms of ranking GNS, it, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't be itching to see it. The overture, the overture in itself. The overture is, alone, so, yeah. There's yeah. a reason yeah. why when Sullivan, when when Sullivan just played it in Covent Garden, and that instantly made them, you know, a hit. You know, it's the one that made them a hit. So I think we <laughs> have to recognise that. You know what as well I like so. about Pinafore? It's just it's just a good length. I think. Yeah. Sullivan, it's Sullivan gets one, so long. Yeah. It is a good length to have, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I I think I understand why. Like, I, I think like whenever I whenever I've talked about our opinions on GNS with people, the men mm. always go, "Oh, I love Pinafore. It's one of my favorites." And the women always go, "Oh no, Pinafore's awful." So I think a compromise and put it in B. Put it in B. Mm. Did they? <sighs> did the women? Did the women never enjoy it, uh, it Jamie? Uh... <laughs> Generally. <laughs> <laughs> I might change the mind for everyone. Just keep going. All right. Yeah. We these obviously these these are not locked in. These are not locked in. They are they are movable because they're all maybe later on we'll remember something other. really bad about Pinafore and put it down lower. But the thing is, well, the only bad thing about Pinafore is, um, I don't really like, I don't really like yeah. There's no I don't really like Buttercup to be honest. <gasps> well, uh, why not? Hebe and Josephine. Joseph, I don't like Joseph any like anything Josephine sings really. I just think I find Buttercup's songs a bit boring, like the Practice Baby Farming song. Like I just can't wait for that to be over. Oh, it is long, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's just the alto explanation song, and they don't care. They just want to fill a plot hole. Yeah. I find yeah. I I I do I do love HMS Pinafore again. It has another special. special in my heart but i think i think b is probably an appropriate place to put it not i don't think it's a c i really don't think it's a c maybe i i, c I, I, I would i would disagree you know, i think it's i also think it's s i think it's up there and s. s but i'll i'll let it stay for b I won't well, get we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see how the list is populated towards the end okay um this one what is this one this is iolanthe uh. oh yeah <laughs> i think that iolanthe is garbage it's yeah. Ilanti is my personal favorite. It's my second favorite. I just it's don't get it. I just don't, just don't enjoy it. Don't it, enjoy it, Jamie. Do you not enjoy it because you haven't been in it very much? I've been in it three times. I don't okay. listen to. I can't listen to the dialogue because I don't find it interesting. Like I listen to the patient's dialogue. I think it's really funny. Um, I know it's, it's unfair to compare it to patient's dialogue because patient's dialogue is like well, right up there. Well, the thing that I would say about GNS is I can't listen to any of their dialogue, really. Like the dial, the dialogue's not very good. No, the dialogue isn't the re- is probably not the reason yeah. that I do kill myself. Well, you, <laughs> you need to see it, and like it's just the one that's like I don't know how to like it's pro- how I would describe it as the tightest one. Like everything in it just works. There isn't like any. There's no plot holes. There's no like weird. I would disagree. With it. Well, okay. Well, there's no um. There's like all the songs just like have a point, whereas like in in a lot of the other ones, I think like 
Or there are like gondoliers, especially like a lot of the songs just don't have any points to it. What about the song when he's saying good morning to his mother? What point has that song got, oh, Jamie? Because he's, he's saying, saying, good, he's saying morning. good morning, and then yeah, the whole song song you don't need a song to say good morning, sure. Well, the song, the, the, well, then that song's only a page long. If that was in gondoliers, it'd be four verses. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> what about the the whole dynamic between Talola and Mount, Mantra? Yeah. Like, what? It's just flab. It's not. It's, it's not. It you doesn't need to add see it anything. Done. You need it's to not play. funny. You need and to not, see it. And neither, neither is um, the dialogue between. <laughs> not dialogue. Um, but when all night long, it's just it. What does yeah. all night long, long, long is, is like setting context. It's, it's a like context. <laughs> Personality mm. of being very stoic, and that makes yeah. it funny when the fairy queen comes on and it's like, Oh my also, god, he's so hot! Also, and then he's just... Private Willis's song does have a point because it shows that the lower classes are actually very highly intelligent and are able to think for themselves, even if they don't necessarily express their opinions. Yeah, I see you've lost me, Jeremy. <laughs> It's, it's, it's too high brown. Sounds it's really boring. Yeah. It. I, like, I, I, like I like Dick. I like Dick Dead Eye. I like the Pirate King. I like these I, I like dynamic characters. Timeless. You can't is... like pirates and then be like, oh, fairy. Well, still... I don't like pirates. Right? <laughs> yeah, they were talking oh, about no. House of Lords reform back then, and it's still a prevalent conversation. And it's still oh. the rules still haven't changed. Oh, and like, oh, baby, no one cares. Right. You know what? You know what, guys? <laughs> right. It is the PBT yeah. show this year. It's the Pamela Billick show this year, which means I personally, I am going to give it my all. I'm not going to go in there oh, yeah. thinking it's bad. I'm going to be open this year. I'm sure it's been picked for a good reason. Whatever the reason is, it has to be good. Even um, if you don't like it on a higher level, it's fairies taking over Parliament. Yeah, this, yeah the thing is, yeah. It's like, oh. yeah, so, yeah, sort of. But it's not, like, that takeover is not, it's not like the take up, like the storming of the castle in either. It's a bit. It's like it's just that little marching bit in in the Act One finale, isn't it? Like that. It's an Act Two. And, 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 act Two. Yeah. It's, it's cheeky. It's just, yeah. It's, it's not, not the it's whole not point, The whole point is that it's not violent because the fairies don't have to put a lot of physical effort in to control the peers. They magic they, it. They are magicking it, and that's funny because the peers think they're above everything and they're so high and mighty because everyone. Because they're the highest, they're the highest part of our legislature, and like you know, it, the whole point is that it's like you know, it's it's com it's taking the upper classes down a peg or three, and it's just so necessary. And the song is wonderful. I understand okay. it's not got so many like epic bangers as gondoliers, uh, the music but like, is fantastic. but There's, the music is fantastic. So yeah, all um, the music sounds like it should be there. Mm. It's so magical. Like you yeah. talk about overtures. It's the best overture, I think. Mm. There is some, like there is some good, yeah, there is, is bits of life. There are there a few good songs. I really, I actually, I really love the Act One finale. I like really love it, and I really look forward to listening to it. But no, the I moment think there's, there's two, not a character. There's not a character I, I love it in. Yeah, in, I think I, I like agree it. with That's that. Fair. Um, I, ju I just, I just think that, um, I just think like my, I just don't think that either of you have like seen a perfect production. But who obviously. takes the role of like that interesting like I know I know he doesn't have to have a bombastic character, but like other than the Chancellor, who is gonna woo the crowd with their mm. behaviour? Talola and Mantara. That's right. the, that's that's what their scene is. They're their funny, scene are is they? about it's 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 about <laughs> public schoolboys like reminiscing about their Oh, I could I could write a dissertation about Ireland. Oh, maybe that is relevant, actually. Yeah. I know that you'd accuse me of being like too intellectual. Of... <laughs> I love an intellectual argument, Jamie. It just needs to be backed up. Well, it's backed up by Ilanthi, the source material speaks for itself. <laughs> oh, okay. I agree with you on that there isn't a, an eternally likable character in Ilanthi. But I don't think it needs it. I don't think you need that one character to play everything hinges on. The plot, the character, it's a, it's a, it's a character-driven plot rather than a story-driven plot, which is what all the other GNFs are like. I'm convinced that audiences watching it who don't know the libretto back to front won't find Ilanthi as interesting as they will find some of the you, others. You see, I, 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 dis I disagree as well because the um, when Nugs did it, when Nugs did it last, um, the, most of the cast had never done GNS before, 
and all of them have come out of it not only loving GNS and they've all got to listen to others, but virtually all of them say that Island is their favourite. Also, I do a, a bit of a pleb test on my family when they come and see shows because they don't understand GNS at all. And Ilanti was the only one that they understood. It was my first GNS and I understood all of it. I thought it was great. I wanted more. Right, well, just, like, Michael, put it in D and then we'll go to the next one. Yeah, yeah, we'll move on to the next one. No, okay. <laughs> put it in D. Put it, put it in D. Put it in D. A... I... You cannot have, I'm sorry, you cannot have Pinafore and I love D in the same. Well, no, exactly. That's why Pinafore will have to go up. Yeah. No! Yeah, I agree, so much better. Oh. I'm the one with the mouse. <laughs> well, maybe we should put Island in A just for this year, just because we're going in year. optimistically. We're doing the show do, this year. It's going to be the best show that PD's ever done. We're going to try and make I, it good. I would be very happy to revisit this and like re-upload a video entirely based on how much I love Ilanthi after we perform okay. it. Okay. If, if oh, I enjoy yeah. it that much, I've listened to Ilanthi like <laughs> ten times recently. Like. Mm. Though so many times mm. in coming up to this preparation, and I, it still doesn't stick in my head in the same way as, um, as the other problem. ones do. Ten mm. times. It's a you. It's a me problem. It's because well, I think I, Michael, you've never had any contact with it before, so. and um, James, you've only played Mountarat. Mm. But I thought you said Mountarat was one of the the main the important oh, characters. Mm. Personally, he's my favorite character. You played Mountarat, and you still don't like I love That's because You know what? There, there is some stuff I like about playing Mount Ar- Mount Ararat. Right. Okay. Next <laughs> up, I I'm okay with it in eight. I don't think it's better than Pinafore, but we could just well. here we go. Yeah. Princess Ida. Ooh, I, I, I like that one. Ida is an underrated gem. Yeah. It's I totally agree. Un- it's totally I think underrated. Ida's brilliant. People rarely do it, and whenever they do do it. It's always, I think, the best shows that I've seen. I've seen like probably two amateur groups done it, and I've been in two productions, and it's been the best show that I've seen and done like on all those occasions. Um, it's when I really hate it in um, Topsy Turvy when they spend the whole film trashing it. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> yeah. really I just think it, women and men. I didn't love. I didn't love. I did the first time I, I saw it. I, I went to see it in the Books and Opera House, and I, I, I don't know. I kind of thought it was okay. But I think it really grew on me the more I listened to it. Mm. I don't think there's any... When you first listen to it, I don't think there's like any song that immediately grabs you. But mm. then the more you listen to it, the more you kind of come to appreciate what Actually, there is. Yeah, you yeah, appreciate the way the characters interact yeah. with each other as well. I, I think. get that. But um, the, end, the ending is atrocious. So you can do it all the way up to the, ver- to the last song and then the, then the ending needs rewritten. Yeah. So that's a problem because it, it, I think that is a problem with the show. So it can't be... It, that's why it can't be S tier. But I think I think it's a show that once people do it, it becomes one of their favourites. But it's not one of their favourites until they actually do it. Is that a problem though? The fact that you have to be in it in order to enjoy it. Potentially, potentially. I'd rather be in it than watch it. Maybe you have to be in every Gilbert and Sullivan to actually enjoy them. I think I, I think I probably <laughs> agree. <laughs> um, I'd be very happy to put it in A tier, although I, I'm getting worried that we're putting a lot of things in A tier, but we will readjust oh. once we see how things are like comparing up against We're all, yeah. like, we're all disagreeing on well, I, I, I think it has to go in B tier just because the ending needs rewritten. How would you change it then, Jamie? Go on. You think you could do Gilbert's job better than him? How would you change the ending? Uh, I don't know. You'll need someone Make with it. more imagination. It, 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 it's, it's one of the ones that has aged the, the worst, if, yeah. I mean, if, we, yeah, if we're thinking about that, like which one is the most timeless. Yeah, it is disappointing, oh, yes. like, building up this amazing, like, <clears throat> feminist story, essentially, and then it just be like, oh, I'm going to give up everything and marry a prince. Yeah. It really just be- does just... Just because the, the worst kings, like Hildebrand as well, the actual genuinely evil king, like, convinces her. Uh, the yeah. Bad, the, bad, <laughs> the bad guys win in Ida, which I think is... Or is that real life? Mm. Mm. <laughs> is it Gilbert endorsing that ending, or is he... Is he um... Holding a mirror to the real world, I don't like imagine. he often does. <laughs> I don't imagine Gilbert was a massive feminist. Probably, probably not. No. Um, I think it, I think B. I think B, but I think I think with the like the caveat that we all like know it should be an A with a good editor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pirates of Penzance. Pirates is. I don't like pirates. Oh, the favorite. Pirates. 
I'm, I know you. I know. I'm, I know you don't. But pirates is just. It has to go in S tier. I think. Mm -hmm. it, you not think so? Mm -mm. Oh, it's just so. It's just so wonderful. Like mm. it's, it's, it's not directed in a fun way. It's not fun to watch. I think the I the material. I think that the it's but it's really hard to direct it badly. Like the material, it, it it's just so good. Like inherently, like it's just so fun. And there's, I think there's a reason that apart from Mikado, um, it's like one of the most, it's one of the ones that is generally reproduced in popular culture. It's just fun. Well, I mean, as a kid, it's, as a kid, it's so much fun to be a pirate as well. Because yeah. I know actually the pirates aren't scary, but as a kid, it's so much fun to dress up as a pirate and mm. be in the chorus. <laughs> and yeah. one of one one of the point I have to go in, in its favour is that the um, there's hardly any dialogue. Like the worst bit is actually the scene at the beginning where it's just loads of dialogue and they're just talking, you know, it's trying to set the scene. But like throughout the rest of it, it's like it's just fun song after fun song after fun song. And I mean, it, Major General song's got to be the best Gilbert and Southern Patter song. I mean, maybe this is a list for another day, a tier list for another day. But I mean, it's the most iconic Patter song really That's ever. True. Isn't it? it is the most, it is the mo definitely the most. It's been reproduced in Mass Effect. In, yeah, Mass Effect. Um, yeah. Minions, the in Minions movie. Minions, yes, yeah, it's Nickel and The me. Simpsons. But the Simpsons have, have done almost, I think, probably like every Gilbert and Sullivan. They certainly done HMS mm -hmm. Pinnacle. They did yeah. a Pinnacle one um, with Sideshow yeah, yeah. Bob, didn't they? I yeah. love that episode. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Cape Fear. Um, um, although he sings it weird. Guy, American Dad, um, Star Trek, even. Like, it's just so. Well, Star like, Trek did HMS Pinafore as well. If you like, I mean, I think Pinafore should go up. I just remember <laughs> yeah, how, you know what? how referenced it is in popular Actually, culture. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think Pinafore should go up as well. Sorry, it's up. That. It's got. It's not up to eight. <laughs> Still a chance for it to fall down again. Don't worry. I, I, I think that Pirates has to be an S tier. It's the most iconic. You can do it in any way. Like you, people have done it in musical theatre style. People have done it in like you know, like really operatic, and it works in any way. It's just so iconic, and it's just banger after banger after banger. Policeman's Lot is not a happy one as well. That's one of the most famous. Oh, ones the policeman! The policeman always bring the house down. The same with yeah. it's, and it, has, and it's, it is one of my. It has been and for me. It's entirely subjective, but one of my favourite moments on stage has been being the policeman cowering in fear from the pirates. Mm. I do. It's just I'm so. so it, it's yeah. fun for it's one of the few ones where it's fun for literally everyone on stage i think I would just and like i'd to, say ilanti is or another one i would just like to advocate um that sullivan did not consider alto chorus members when writing pirates of pendant putting <laughs> high s in the chorus numbers but other than that i do really like pirates it's also fun. the twist at the end isn't it is the pirates are actually Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's not in its favour. <laughs> no, but maybe, yeah, rolled, maybe they became the, the lords in Iolanthi. There's a little bit of, you could do a little crossover there. Wow. An it's, expanded universe. Yeah, oh, the GNS extended cinematic yeah. universe. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 think, I, I think I actually agree. I don't really like Pirates, but I think I acknowledge that it is, it's well beloved by everyone. And the zeitgeist it is is part of the zeitgeist. I I actually I just but I don't think it is as clever, well constructed, or beautiful sounding as quite a lot of the other operators. I think, I think, I think yeah. you're right, but we have we have to like you know obviously like different operas are like better for different things. We have to like this is just sort of like I mean it's really difficult to put things in the box. Actually, I guess. Yeah, but, it's, like, it's this is purely nonsense. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's, but oh what precious nonsense oh shut up right okay um um the next one that is gondoliers? the gondoliers oh. Oh. gondoliers is wonderful hey gondoliers lovely wonderful. lovely little show lovely show it's big show it's not so little it's too it's a bit too <laughs> long some of the songs go on for way too long i think um most of the some of the dialogue with the um some of the dialogue is just awful and the, yeah. the second there isn't really much points to the second act so i wouldn't put it in s tier for that reason but it's a solid a tier i'd say i'd say i think it's an s yeah I it's just so it's just so an joy it's so, so much time, joy in it isn't so every it? time so i fun. hear the like the overture start for condoliers i'm delighted i'm yeah. I'm, I'm, you get the shivers down your spine yeah i do like it's sullivan yeah. it's sullivan is at uh, is 
he's just mm. smashing out of the park. And, and to be honest, that's another reason why I think it should be an S tier because Sullivan is showing up Gilbert. Okay, I'd say, yeah, all right, S tier. Well, also, the last, the last good Gilbert and Sullivan as well. So that's it something is special, isn't it? Mm. Right. Coming up next, speaking of bad ones, Grand Duke. <gasps> Grand Duke. You know what? I've never even seen it. But I'll put it Grand in D. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I, put it in D. There's only a Grand, couple of songs Grand, in it I like. There's a reason I've not seen it. <laughs> what I would say about Grand Duke is that it does have some good songs. Like, but those songs are bookended within absolute nonsense. Like the, the plot and the dialogue is just absolute rubbish. You drew like out the is, plot once, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We mm. we drew a plot on the we drew the plot on the whiteboard and it just filled the entire it's, it's it just, needs a, it needs heavily rewriting in order to like make it even good like passable I think. So, so we should we should not see it. You say you're saying we shouldn't see this it. This is this is a confirmed don't see this operetta from Jeremy. Unless unless, un, it. unless it's been heavily rewritten and like you trust I don't know I think it. Could... But as GNS fans, should we really be putting any of these uh, gems in D? Yeah. Just but yeah. like I think you just have to accept if you if you're putting if you're comparing all of Gilbert and Sullivan's works if if you love all of them you've got to accept that one of them is worse than the others and I think that's probably Grand Duke. What, what? Yeah, exactly. And why do you think criticism is necessarily bad, James? Criticism is how we improve. Just very insecure. But the thing is, we can't improve Gilbert and Sullivan, Jamie, because you can't change it. The purists would disagree. It's, it's with impossible. Changing. To so is there is there a big twist at the end of the Grand Duke, Jamie? Is oh, it has it got a good twist? There's twists everywhere. Every page has a twist in it. The twist in he, it he just goes topsy turvy all the time. It just writes yeah, itself. In and fact, then... this is true Gilbert because it is forever topsy turvy. Sounds pretty hardcore. Yeah, pretty, but it's, it's, I'd argue hardcore. that actually because it's true Gilbert, it, that makes it even worse. Um, the sorcerer. Mm. Mm. Only been in it once. It can be done really well. I've seen it done well. Boring. Probably the most, I'd, I'd argue it's the most boring one, like in terms of music. They haven't really found their feet then. It has some beautiful mm. songs here and there. There are some go- really gorgeous. I yeah, I'd, I'd it's, say it's, it's, it's got some of my favourite um, arias. Is arias the right word? Like, this is soprano songs. I think mm. gorgeous. I'd, um, yeah, it's, it's I'd, got I some, would happily put it in C, C Yeah, it's, it's got some excellent music wrapped up in, like, some absolute garbage. Like, like the, the very the first song is just wonderful, and then it instantly goes to this dreadful recit, where there's just no point, and and the dialogue's also just yeah. John Wellington Wells song is good, isn't it? Isn't John Wellington Wells? Isn't that one of the, that's like that's a fun path song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's cool. a good song. My um my sister actually uh sung that in a drama class, and she didn't tell anyone it was Gilbert and Sullivan, and everyone was really impressed that she'd made up this song. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I think I think it is a C tier. I don't think it's as good as m- many of them, but I think it's mm. certainly not dreadful. Yeah, I just I don't think I've seen it a long enough time to actually have a. But I just know as a, as as a as a kid in it, I was I was like twelve years old. I just really really enjoyed being it. Though there's a bit where where you all, where you all wake up and fall in love, and it, and it was really yeah. awkward at the time because I didn't want to go anywhere near the girls. Yeah. You know, fun for yeah. the chorus. Oh, yeah. where- that is that is a fun song. That bit's fun, I remember yeah. I remember seeing it at the Bucks and Opera House, um, and really enjoying it. And they did something really cool, like although like the demons and like the things of earth in there. And mm. all that, uh, that was yeah. that was re- that looked so cool. Like doing that with a budget is fun, like and a bet, great spectacle. Yeah. But if you're doing it in like amateur productions, there's, there's only so much you can do. Maybe a bit of dry ice. That's about it. I, th- I think I think you're right. I think it's one that like heavily revolves around how it's done. Like, mm. Definitely. Speaking of heavily revolves around how it's done, <laughs> you've got the Mikado. Mikado. I I don't yeah. get why Mikado is generally considered the most famous one. Really? Because it was on Zach and Cody, and I remember it <laughs> so that's vividly. That's not the reason. <laughs> that's definitely not the reason. I know Mikado. <laughs> I really like the Mikado. I, I think like I, I think it just makes me it just makes me feel happy. It's the GNS I, I watch and feel feel the happiest watching. I don't know why. I, I think it's okay. I think but it's I overrated. Don't, I think it's completely overrated, but it's not too bad if done yeah. well. Like but right. it is again, I think it is one that heavily revolves around how it's done. I think it's a B personally. 
B. 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 Oh, I just put I just put it S. I love it. I think it's a, I mean, obviously it's it's got its problems. It? What about it? Do you love? Just, the just makes me happy. I was I, it just I think I was just in a time of my life where I was listening to Mikado and just feeling very happy. And it, it just oh, makes it, me happy. That doesn't it was sound very objective. <laughs> and I do like what James says about making me happy, and I think it has some of the best dialogue. Yeah, I agree with it's the dialogue. Some really good dialogue. Like some dialogue of its like scenes are great, but I don't think Sullivan especially shines in it. Um, there are some like the madrigals. No, no, he really stuff. doesn't. I don't. I know Three Little Maids is like the most well-known song, but other than that, like. I don't really like that one. No, I like uh, I like in the, the Beauty and the Bell of the Blast. I, I think that's the best. Oh, yeah, really that's, that's a really good banger. Tit Titwillow is not a banger. I despise Titwillow, to be honest. I hate just, it. I, I'm with you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's so boring thing. song. It's Actually, I don't really like. I don't really like Titwillow. If it's acted well, it's like so good. You can do so much with it. Yeah, but once you've seen it once, you could do. No, it depends how it's done. I know it's. I know everyone says it's a boring song. I don't know what what it is about it, but I love the Criminal Cried song. It just gets me. I don't know Criminal why. Criminal Cried is funny. I love it so much. Like Even though I it's like, like, I know it's quite boring musically. The music people would would tell you, but I don't know. I just I sing it in the it's shower funny. and it makes me it makes me yeah. happy. <laughs> I, I I I think it's good, but it's not. Yeah. We'll stick it in yeah. stick it in S for now. And we'll take it down later. <laughs> I was thinking of putting yeah, it in B, B or C, B. but maybe B is good. Well, All right, B. put it in B. B. Put it in B. B. Put it in B. B for it. I, I, I like. I, I think it, it's got a lot tied to it, and then there's obviously the kind of the complication of staging it in the 21st century. Um, yeah, I think we can agree it's aged the worst. Yes. Yeah. Next up is Thespis. Oh. Oh, it's garbage. Absolutely. It's done right. It's done right. Well, it doesn't oh, actually exist. Wait. Best bis. We don't know anything about it. It has a it. lot of potential. Well, I, we, we, me and Sophie, saw, me and Sophie saw a production of it. Um, by it's just it like a made-up production. It doesn't, production, it doesn't it? exist, did it? It doesn't exist. It's lost, isn't it? Isn't that well, right? It, we saw a we saw a version of all I can say is that we saw a version of it and um and it was just atrocious and I don't know how it could be done well because the dialogue and the story is just so nonsensical like it's just rubbish because it was I, made yeah, up I, I, by it's, it's not a concept, really yeah. hmm. Pardon? Because it like surely like it's lost like I don't understand how you can see a production. The, the story is there. The, the story. The Gilbert is there. Oh, oh, the Gilbert. Yeah, still there. Still the Gilbert's still there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they've just there's just um there's different versions of it climbing over rocky mountains yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that was the thespis and and the victorian mm -hmm. parlor song i can't remember the name of. but they they basically just shove sullivan songs into it so they rewrite the words to songs that already exist a lot of them are from the zoo actually. yeah a lot of them were from the zoo in the version we saw um oh, I, like that zoo. I think the story had potential <laughs> but it just sort of fell a bit flat it was so um, boring i guess like, it was a good it... concept that didn't I just, I thought it was, I thought it was really boring. Like, so, uh, so Jamie, uh, the archaeologist should stop trying to find the lost, the lost music. Suspense, yeah. Maybe, it, maybe, like, maybe the music is is incredible, but I think, especially, I maybe we just saw about. I've only seen one version of it, and I just like, and it, we, it was by a good company, and I thought the company did it very well, but the version itself was just not good. Like, it was just boring. Is it unsalvageable? Do you think it's a detail in the same way Grand Duke is unsalvageable? Yeah. You don't even have like the great Gilbert to pull it mm. pull it yeah, out. Yeah, it's Gilbert is it's Gilbert and it's it, it was some when he the, was some of the songs didn't scan. Yeah. I think the, songs... the same songs were used every time for <laughs> yeah. someone to perform the best bits. The, the songs didn't scan them. It was, it was just a bit yeah. crammed together. There it is. It's in yeah. right the uh, Sorry. Sorry, Gilbert. Uh, uh, Gilbert is nothing without Sullivan. I think, like, well, if you have to, you have to think of it in terms of one of Gilbert's plays, really. Because maybe if there's some, if there's like a version of Thespis that's like incredible, then maybe, you know, I think maybe, maybe just the proven. version we saw. I just have to put it in D based on that. Guilty until mm. proven in the Yeah. Okay. Um, trial by jury. A. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Right. I, I really like trial by jury. Enough. It's I put it in. Good. I put it in S. I love trial. I think. It, I think it is such a neat little thing. I think it could go in S. Very tight. Like, it's a sweet. 
S for sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's just lovely and short. It's, it's it just, just makes you, you, just, you just leave it mm. feeling so happy. They do. Well, she's got some lovely music in there. Yeah. yeah. You can make other characters women now. Yeah. yeah. Flexible. Flexible. I th- yeah. I think it's brilliant. I, I, don't, I don't know if I could. I, I guess you could like criticize it for maybe some of the lightheartedness it makes of domestic violence, but like. Um... Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the but... reason I didn't want to put it as S. Oh, okay. It's, it's not good for women or about women. No. <laughs> but mm. it's really well written and yeah. it's, I um, think, beautiful. So it's, just, it's Sullivan at his very best, I think. Like, it's just. Just the very opening makes me so happy. It's just so lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little bell. Exactly. There's no Gilbert dialogue ruining it. Yeah. I think that's, I think, A, really. Oh, really? Yeah, I think, as he's right, because of it's, it, I think it's too short, really. I think, obviously. Like, no, I don't, I don't think its shortness is a detriment to it. I think that's one of the, one of its blessings. Is, yeah, is, I, I think can't, if it was it, longer, I'd be. Where can you go with it? It can't be done. Mm. What I meant to put about that is that it can't be done with its own thing. Like it has to be done like alongside something else. That is true, but like that's a production issue, not like the the things by themselves. Like I mean, that's what it was designed for, I guess. Mm. Um, I'm keeping it in S. That's yeah, it. Fair enough. That's where I, I stay. Yeah. You are condoning thrashing and kicking women. All right, mm. down it goes. Put it half foot <laughs> between <laughs> A and S. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's it's going in. It's 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 been demoted from S to A based on based on valid criticism. <laughs> um, Utopia Limited. Mm. C C. It it's got it's got the songs are better than. There are um, some, there are some really tune. good songs, but the um the plot is and the plot and the dialogue is absolute garbage. What about Eagle High? Oh, Eagle High is yeah. I mean, it's, it's again, it's here. Sullivan. Yeah, Sullivan saved it. Like it, it needs again. I, it needs to be heavily rewritten, restaged, reset. Like oh, but it's still it's got some great stuff. Oh, it's got some great stuff. I just it has got some great wise stuff. Men. Love yeah. that song. Yeah, yeah. I like that the one. first the first song needs burning. The, the whole process. Process song. I, I, I think see. I think no, it has to. It has to. It has to. Oh, we're not putting it in the same category as Mikado. That's so no. rude. That's no. awful. That would be a crime. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. I'm not going to be dragged into it, Jamie. Right. I'm guessing the um, first one is Ruddy Gore, then. That one's Ruddy Gore. Yeah, oh, I, right. I put in S. I love Ruddy Gore. I think Ruddy it's so Gore good. Is, it needs its own... We need to make its own little box, its own little tier, and put Ruddy Gore in it below everything else. Right, above everything else. Right, no, yeah. got below everything else. I think Ruddy Gore is, is S tier. Absolute <laughs> garbage. Oh, it I love Ruddy Gore. Nonsense. Oh, it's brilliant. Sullivan. It's Sull- Sullivan. It's so. It, it's the songs in it are so awful. Like with with virtually all the other ones, you could skip to a random point in in it, and you could just like listen to it, and it would just be wonderful. With Ruddy Gore, you skip to a random point. It's likely that you're gonna have to like skip again to reach something I, good. I, I the only song I don't like is the Mad Margaret song. I mm. I can't stand that song. Even yeah, though Mad Margaret is a, a cool, a cool character, I think, yeah, I think Margaret is Margaret, Margaret almost is saves so it. Yeah, Margaret almost saves it. Really, it's for me. It's, yeah. the, it's the worst bit. No, I, 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 that song I just find it so boring. It just lasts for so for so long. If someone's not acting it mad, it just seems cringe. But if it's acted well, it just mm. seems like this person's having to break down on stage. Rose, yeah. Robin, and all the books and blades, whatever the hell they are. Like, there's so many potholes. The what? It's terrible They're for all male terrible. Horror. It's terrible for everyone apart from. I'm really tired of being no. admired by ladies. It's a great song. No, it's, no, it's really good that one. It's so much fun. Like, the men come on. Like, oh, you've got it stuck in my head now, Jamie. I won't be able to sleep tonight. I can't believe that. Like, you're willing to like. You think it's better than anything in Ireland? It is. No, I don't. Just so there's so many potholes. What about Gideon? Gideon Crawl and like. How's that a plot hole? Well, well, he's not in because, it. because the, the score's wrong. The di- the lib is just wrong. Like it it's makes got it interesting, Jamie. In it. it makes it interesting. It makes it's it an Easter egg. It's just an, e- an Easter egg for the real fans. <laughs> Moving away from Sullivan, I think Gilbert's done a good one because it's one of the most dramatic. It's got a good story. Well, I would I have, what I would have to say is that this, in the second, the sec- I suppose like the way I think it really was, there's two separate shows. The first act is 
absolute and I can't swear. The first the first act is like I don't like but the second act is like almost a good show. Like all the best bits are in the second oh, no, act. But it's not that so. oh, like any the bridesmaids in the second act. Oh the are bridesmaids. I mean the bri- bridesmaids in the whole thing are unbearable. Like. No, but it, they make sense in the first half because it's all happy and learn about but and they like mm. they're in the ghost scene, it's like why are you here? And the tight little craft song, I'm sorry. Needs to go. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> it's, oh, I, I, there are some parts of the first act that I really like. Um, I really like all of the like. My heart says like one thing and says another. When when we had our production of it and the guy playing um, that's uh, Richard. Yeah. Um, he he acted it like he acted the hell out of it and he in a way he stole the show through his acting yeah he's more brilliant. Than his singing and so i think it uh, and, and it's so it's, it's one of those weird ones where i think gilbert probably does outperform sullivan in redigore yeah i would i would um, agree with that but, but love the, the uh the matter trio though that's a fun bit of oh, that's very that's famous true. as well the matter is yeah. it's just the fact that like the fact that that it was so badly received when it came out that they had to like basically rewrite the entire show I don't know. I just think I just think like like as a GNS, it's just so weak. Like I can understand it as like you know if it was like just like any other operetta, but it's just. But you guys seem to like it, so there must be something. In makes it. me happy. So maybe. Yeah, do. it makes me happy too. I believe yeah between B and C, I don't mind which. Put it in B. <laughs> If you guys, if you guys love it, it cancels it out. Like, you guys love it so much, but I hate I don't, it. I, the thing is, I actually, I'm actually disagreeing with you to annoy you, Jamie. I actually don't care for Radigal that much. Um, well, put, but, it in, okay. put it in C then. Put it in C. What's next to it in C tier? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Um, Sorcerer. Oh, yeah. So rude. Oh, so rude. I'd say it's worse than his own I'm not trying to see a sorcerer anymore. It's rude, and it does a disrespect to a, a really fun character in James's performance of Robin. I'm afraid James's Robin, Robin O'Caffle is one of my favourite James characters. He was very, diff- is, very diffident and meek. Rod- Roderick is the best character, but he's only in it for. A I second. think what about it, Dame I, Hannah. I don't, don't any of the like any. <laughs> I'd say any of the women's parts apart from Margaret, unfortunately. Like it's so awful. It's, for it's, women. it's a nice duet. I, I like the we duet. To Stafford, to I actually, I think it is. I think it is C tier. I'm just, I'm just thinking about like the chorus numbers, like the yeah, finales and stuff like that. I, it doesn't. Finally, Yeoman of the Guard. Or yeah, with it's, Yeoman of the Guard. I find I feel it. Like it's in its own mood. I find it difficult yeah. to judge Yeoman alongside other GNSs. It's so different. Yo, I think Yeoman is absolutely fabulous, but when I have to, but I just, it's not the same as like. It's not the any same. Of the others. There aren't like numbers in it that I particularly want to go back and listen to again. Um, well, I know what you mean. But when you're in the show, like if you're watching a really good production and like you're in the mo- or like you're in it and you're like you're in the moment, like it's all you can like that's what GNS is to you at the time. If you know what I mean, like mm. it's just like when you're in like when you're watching it, it's just. It like captivates you. I don't know if that sounds weird, but like... and then going to other GNSs from watching Yeoman, you suddenly feel as though they're missing the like a I deeper would... element. Yeah. The thing that it just the thing that raises like it just makes my hair stand on end every time is the very end, like when you've got a full orchestra and like that that last the last few bars. It's just it makes me shiver every time I think about it. Mm, it makes like, me cry. Yeah. It does make it does make me cry, Michael. And of course, you were Jack Point, Jamie. Jamie you made, it, you made us cry. The thing I would whole audience. Like... Yeah, the whole audience were in floods after Jamie's <laughs> performance. That 17 year old boy screaming. <laughs> for his lost I, did it way, I did it way better. <laughs> I did it way better. I, I wasn't making fun of you, Jamie. It was a, it was a very heartfelt performance. Elsie! Yeah. The only, the only way I'd say that, like, I'd say Yomi is A. With a good production, but I can understand like if it's a bad production, it can easily slip down. And in particular, if it's a production in which um, Jack Point and Phoebe end up together at the end, which has been done, mm. like or if it's any other any other ending that doesn't have Jack Point dying, I, I, my I, instinct is B. Really? My instinct is wow. S. Wow. S. Yeah. Ooh, okay. yeah you I'm thinking S or A. Yeah. Yeoman and a ticket gondoliers at the same time, I would struggle to choose. Yeoman, Yeoman's. <laughs> One that's really rarely done. 
Like, isn't oh, but, like, it? So, Fairfax's songs. There's some beautiful there's some music. Beautiful music. music. There is some lovely music, yeah. It doesn't compare but, to, like, Mikado. <laughs> well, but you, you can't think of it as a GNS. Because it's not really. Like, it's really, I mean, it is. Still, got, it's, a, still got its funny moments in there. Still got its funny moments. Occasionally, yeah. Rock and Bob. That's probably the Hello, most yeah. GNS y song. Mm. Um, oh. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you. Ah. Yeoman here. <laughs> there. I think Yeoman here has to go in the middle, really. Because it's like. Mm. It becomes its oh. own thing. Or, like, yeah. Or there, yeah. Probably between B and A and B. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I think yeah. Okay. There we go. Have we have we done it? We've, we've categorized. Yeah, we've done it. So, all right. Let's let's assess. We're not allowed the zoo in there then, because that would be an S for me. Well, should we should we talk about the zoo and cox and box? <laughs> yeah, let's do the zoo and cox and box. Um, I'd say both S. Cox, cox and box, box is S. not S. Oh come not on, Jamie. Any stretch Michael, of, yeah, no. Cox and box and the S. No, it's you might as well C, put, C class. You might C as well class. put patient. You might, you should just put patience in S and Ida in S and Pinafore in S if you think Cox and Box goes in S. No, I I think Cox and Box is some ways and funnier. I ways. love Cox and Box. I don't think it's S, but A. Solid A, maybe at least. Solid yeah. A. I'd go B. Go B. I think that's generous. I don't know. Really? I think... Cox and Box. Like the whole like it. mistaken identity thing and like the songs aren't that fun. It's not mistaken. It's not mistaken, it's not mistaken who identity. You so, uh, 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 tell me who is. It's funny. It's funny. The music is wonderful in it. Like, it's it's, it's funny so in funny. the same way that someone doing this to a baby is funny. Like I it's, say, it's not Gilbert. That's why it's not Gilbert. You don't get any of that Gilbert, Gilbert. genius wit. Bolton Row. Bolton Row pretender. It, it's GNS show, I probably laughed out loud at. It's probably because it? it was a good production rather than it actually being good. Oh, of course. In the opposite way, I won't. It's so good. It's a beautiful little ditty. I think. So, you know, that bit there, you, the bit you just described is exactly what Michael's talking about. The, you know, with, with the hands. Yeah, but if you don't know it's coming, it's hilarious. <sighs> it has to be done well. Like the the the. Cox, Box, and Bouncer need to be really good. I they think need it's to have, hard like, to do it badly. That's why I think it should be high mm. up because it's so. I think it would have been interesting to see if you'd still think that after we had done ours. I just, I don't know. I feel like it's. I think it's limited on jokes, and um, which is why I don't think it could be S tier. Well, I, I don't think the music's very. I don't think the music's right. very fun. Like there is some really cool music in it, but like. There's nothing. Like, I can't really remember much of it. I, yeah. I I think it's a B or an A. B. Let's B. Let's put it in B then. Just like that's. You were saying S, Jamie. Do you not want to fight for that? Well, you must go to bed. I might just convince you that if you put Cox and Box in B, where's the zoo gonna go? Because it's yeah. more than a C. I'd say the. I'd but say it's the, not Cox and Box. I'd say the zoo is. is zoo is S. As good. I see the zoo as good as Cox and Box. The zoo is definitely an S. The zoo is one of the most fun productions I've ever been in. I, oh, I, I yeah. agree, but I would, I would also agree that Cox and Box is an S because that's one of the most fun productions yeah. I've been in. You're <laughs> I had, I had, I almost died when I was in the zoo because they put me inside a big bear suit and it was we were performing outside. It was boiling hot and I came out at the end just like sweat covering my face. I, I couldn't sing in there because it was I was so hot. It but I st- it's still so much fun. Which is another reason I think it should be an S tier. But wait, who is this? Well, actually, that, that adaptation, that little recording, is another reason it's great. Because I've listened, to, I've listened so to that one so many, so many times. I love it so much. Yeah, but when you see it, they don't do it. Oh. You know what, I just like um, I had so much fun that week. Like in rehearsals as well, we just had such a good oh, laugh that in is, that fringe. It's mm. Most fun to rehearse and be in, I think. Like it's just like I it's it's just so it. it's it's just so relaxing. It's one of the it's one of the few shows that's actually relaxing to do. Like because it's, it's like simple. just so funny and stupid. It's, it's just so ridiculous. There's nothing to take seriously. And it's in not it. too complicated for like mm. tourists and stuff. So it's yeah. It's quite chill. Should, what, should we say A? Should we put it in A? Yeah. Yeah. A. Oh, it is good, isn't it? It is good, isn't it? It's one of the, then genuinely one of the most fun shows to do. And it goes into A. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Let's reassess. 
let's 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 have a, look, a quick glance through and see if, if if we think anything should change. So. I think this list is pretty much perfect. Then, if we can't if we can't agree to change anything from what it is, then um, I mean, um, maybe trial by jury should go in S. Pinafore should probably go in S. Patience should go in S. Truth is, really, as Gilbert and Sullivan fans, we think they should all go in S. That's true. Hope you guys all enjoyed that video. I'm James Sweetman, one of the producers, and these guys here, Michael, Sophie, and Jamie all on the committee we're part of pb theatricals uh i hope you enjoyed our video again this summer we're putting on Ilanthi, jamie's favorite mine and michael's not so much as you you would have seen from the video we just showed you if you watched it all the way through um we love gilbert and sullivan come and see the show and um yeah follow us uh, spread the word we could always use more performers not this year we've got quite a lot this year but in future more performers more audience members Come on, Gilbert Sullivan's still alive and kicking. Believe you me.